Hey guys, this is John. I'm a filmmaker based in LA, and I'm here to help you shoot great video with your DSLR. Today, we're talking about the optimal shutter speed for shooting video on a Canon 60D. When choosing a shutter speed for shooting video on the 60D, it's very important to keep in mind that it doesn't function solely as an exposure attribute, but actually affects the nature of your footage itself. So in this case, to properly expose this image, you can see that our shutter speed is at a 200th of a second. However, the 180 degree shutter rule, which means the angle at which the shutter, the angle at which the shutter moves relative to the sensor must be maintained at actually 180 degrees. So at a 200th of a second, the shutter angle will actually diverge from 180 degrees and cause motion to appear choppy, such as in films as Saving Private Ryan. To compensate for this, we need our shutter to be at a 60th of a second, or approximately twice our frame rate. That's a very useful rule when thinking about what shutter to use when shooting on your 60D. You can effectively double your frame rate and that will give you your appropriate shutter speed. And in this case, since we're shooting at 30 frames a second, our shutter speed should be a 60th of a second. So if we were shooting at 24 frames, we'd want our shutter speed to be approximately twice that or a 50th of a second. Maintaining the 180 degree shutter rule will give you the truest rendition of your movies and the highest quality of your images. This does, however, present problems such as now that our image is very overexposed. To compensate for this, we could dial down our f-stop or our aperture. In this case, about f8 looks to be the proper exposure. However, we're losing some of that shallow depth of field and the filmic look that DSLRs are known for. To compensate for this, we could actually place neutral density filters in front of the lens to compensate and cut some light so that we could maintain a lower aperture and retain that shallow depth of field. These are all important considerations when making your selection for shutter speed for shooting video on the DSLR. Another important consideration is the ISO setting. And you can adjust this as a third way to adjust your exposure on your images. Whatever choice you make for shutter speed, it's important to remember that you have creative control. And in some instances, maybe you do want a higher shutter speed or a lower shutter speed to create a certain look. So that's a little bit about choosing the right shutter speed for shooting video on your Canon 60D. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out some of our other videos by clicking the links around. And if you don't see a topic cover you'd like, let us know. Send an email to requests at mahalo.com with your idea. And also make sure you subscribe to stay current with new videos we'll post. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.